Yeah. If you ain't having fun, what you do it for? Quit your job, leave your wife, tell your kids you went on tour. You went out to get them snacks, ice cream, and some chocolate fudge. You the one they love, so if you disappear, they hold the grudge. Showing up at graduation, telling them you probably made Hi guys, it. welcome back to my channel, or welcome. My name is Laura, if you do not know. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the Guilty Reader book tag. This tag was created by Chami at Read Like Wildfire here on BookTube. Upon watching her video and sort of reading through the questions, I decided that this was going to be a tag I wanted to do. I have not done like a tag sit down and answer questions type video in probably over a year but I was really drawn to this tag I wasn't tagged to do it or anything but I tagged myself so today the guilty reader book tag let's get started first question is have you ever regifted a book that you've been given um I really don't think I've done this but I have definitely bought books that I intended to keep for myself and then given them away like I bought them for somebody else I did that one year um, with Pride and Prejudice. I bought it for myself and then one of my friends from work was like, I really want Pride and Prejudice. And I was like, oh yeah. And then like for Christmas, I just gave him my copy and he was like, oh my God, that's so thoughtful. And I was like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Second question is, have you ever said that you've read a book when you haven't? Um, hmm. I really don't know. I think possibly like back in high school, like one of my teachers would be like, Laura, like, have you read this book? And like, just to get them off my backs, so I'd be like, yeah, like, I love it. Like a great classic, like, <laughs> but um, no, like I'm pretty honest about the books that I've read and what I haven't read and all that. So no, I don't really think I've actually lied to somebody about reading a book when I haven't. <laughs> have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it? Um, the one book that I can think of that I've done this for that I still have the book today is my copy of To Kill a Mockingbird that I stole from my eighth grade class. Um, I read that book in eighth grade in my English class. In all of my English classes, you're given all of the books to lend during the year and then you have to bring them back at the end of the year. For some reason, I did not give back my copy of To Kill a Mockingbird and to this day, I still have it. It's totally haggard, like the cover is almost ripped apart completely. It's just a really ugly cover of To Kill a Mockingbird, but I do have it and I did take it and not return it. So that answers that question. Have you ever read a series out of order? Um, I have not, not that I can think of, but recently I was talking about this in my last video. I was reading the Field Party series from Abby Glines and I read the first book, absolutely loved it. The second book, I started it and then it just was not clicking with me. I don't really know. I just could not get into that book for some reason. So I totally skipped that book and I just moved on to the third book and read that one and I really liked the third book. Um, and the third book did indeed have spoilers from the second book, but I was just kind of like, whatever. So I don't know if that really counts as reading them out of order, but I did kind of skip around. Next question is, have you ever spoiled a book for somebody? None that I can think of that I intentionally spoiled people for, but I think definitely on my channel before I've given descriptions of certain books where people think that I'm spoiling them when really I'm just like reading the back of the book and I get comments that are like, you totally spoiled me on this book. And I'm like, girl, I didn't, like it's fine. You can still read it. But no, I don't think I've ever like actually blatantly come out and been like, yeah, so did you know that at the end of a Legion, this happens like hmm, remember that yeah me too next question is have you ever doggy eared a book back in the day before i considered myself a booktuber a book collector a book enthusiast <laughs> you can say um i may have done that i may have doggy eared the pages of my books but i was young then it was the past i would never do it again no, I, I I would never do it again, but I did used to do it when I was little. Definitely did that. Never again. I have so many bookmarks, you guys. There's literally no reason to dog eat your pages. Like, there just isn't. <laughs> have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? A hundred percent. Um, Back when I was in high school, I used to read so many books. And if you watched my, like, how I became a reader video, or maybe I've mentioned it in another video, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But back in high school, we did this thing where once you finished, like, a book that you did, like, free read, um, your teacher would give you a sticky note and you would write down the book and the author and your rating and your name, and then you'd put it on this wall. Um, and obviously the wall was like 90% <laughs> my stickers. And so people all the time would ask me like, oh, was that book good? And I'm like, yeah, like I gave it five stars. And they're like, can I borrow it? And I'm like, yeah, girl from the library. Cause I don't have it. And like, <laughs> clearly I have it. Like I buy all of my books. So yeah, there was a couple in there that I just like was not going to give people my copies of like my favorite books. Like, sorry, like maybe if you're my best friend, I'll let you borrow my books. But if you're just like some kid in my class, you're probably not getting my books. <laughs> Next question is, have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? Um, hmm. 
possibly I think back when I read Fifty Shades of Grey because I was so young when I read that series people like adults would ask me about it because they like knew I was a reader they'd be like do you like read romance books and I'm like no like I'm 16 like no <laughs> but like I had yeah I probably did that a couple times have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? Um, there's definitely been times where like I'm getting tired of a book so I start skimming. Those are usually the books that I give really low ratings to or books that I read when I was in high school that I didn't really care about. Um, those books I definitely would skip around. I would read like the first couple of chapters and then during the middle I would be like mm, it's fine I can just go online and look it up and not have to read the book and then I would read like the last chapter so stuff like that definitely yes but when it comes to books that I read like for the purpose of reviewing on my channel or just like books that I read for fun um, there's really no reason to skip around if I don't like a book I just won't read it anymore so yeah and the last question is have you ever badmouthed a book that you actually like um for this question I'm gonna say I don't think I have intentionally but there has probably been situations in which I'm with a group of people or I'm talking to a group of people online who have a differing opinion from me on a book that I really liked and I kind of lead them to believe that I'm, I'm understanding them more and I'm feeling how they're feeling. Like somebody will be like, oh, like I just thought this wasn't good. And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I can see that. But like secretly I'm like, I love that book. Um, I don't do that often. I can't think of a recent time that I've done that, but I think it's definitely, definitely been done before. <laughs> so guys, those are all of the questions in the guilty reader book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you are a guilty reader, if you wanna tell me any of the answers to these questions, I will leave the questions down below as well, along with with Chammy's channel. Thank you so much Chammy for creating this tag. It was a really fun one to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! Meanwhile, I got every Will Smith CD And the first two seasons of Felicity Rapping's like a gift to me. Literally I hit him with the pawn like yeah baby baby Are you having any fun?